Okay, here we are. F1 2021. Uh, I think this is part five. But I think the game will say like chapter four, I think. So we're going to go to the next chapter. And um, if you see the subscribe button, please like and subscribe if you like the video. But please subscribe and uh I want to do a lot more content on this and iRacing, little NBA 2K, and um, I hope I get some uh, people subscribing. So let's see what we got. Uh, the last race I won, and um, let's see what Casper has to say about that. British Grand Prix. Oh, Silverstone. Nice. Uh, I don't know this track. <laughs> I don't know any of these tracks, guys, because uh, I just... I just don't so um, I'm gonna have to learn it I wish um, I wish I knew them but I plan on later on doing other F1 races and getting to know these tracks and and uh, hopefully start getting into some online racing with this thing um, but I think that's gonna take me you know probably a couple months to get to get the tracks done so we'll just move along at at a regular pace and see what happens all right, let's move on. Um, I'm gonna have to learn the tra track as I go. So we're gonna advance, and what do we got? Fernando Alonso makes a comeback, returning to the sport. <clears throat> returning to Renault at the start of the 2021 season, a two-time F1 World Championship, also with Renault, whom he has driven for twice in his career. Alonso left Formula One in 2018 to compete in other motorsports. It's been rumored for some time that Alonso has been in talks with Renault, and now we have official confirmation Alonso, I should say, will drive alongside the Frenchman Esteban. What's that, Ocon? I don't know um, a lot of the Formula One drivers, unfortunately, but um, I'll get to know them as I go along. Regarded as one of the greatest drivers in Formula One history, really? With only two world championships? That's kind of weird. Alongside his two world championship, Alonso has also won 32 Grand Prix. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Throughout his career, this legend's return to Formula One is sure to bring some excitement. So I'll tell you guys how old I am. When I was young, my F1 hero was Jackie Stewart. <laughs> so... Uh, if you don't know who he is, look him up. But that he was the he was the big champion when I was young. So, um, but I was more of an oval guy. I liked Indy. I liked Mario Andretti was my favorite driver. And I uh, locally I used to go to the races, and Ollie Silva was my favorite driver. Quick Silva. So, um, all right, let's see what we got. Social uh, announcement. So can't wait. Oh, Alonzo Silverstone last year was one of Jackson's best. Oh, I did good in F2. Uh-oh. Call unknown. Hmm. Uh oh Hello. <clears throat> Hello, mate. Who is this? Butler. Oh, come on, keep up. It's Devon. Butler. The very same. You can tell by his How voice. How did you get this number? Nah, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just want <coughs> to pass on a Excuse bit me. of friendly advice. Oh. <laughs> no, it's always <laughs> tricky racing on your home track. The pressure. All the fans watching, it's a nightmare. Well, it's such a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it is. But I like if him. you keep your cool, you stay <clears> focused, <throat> you will get through it. Okay? Just just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then when your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. Anyway, good luck out there today. Just just try and make it to the end, eh? <coughs> Ta-ta! Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. I'll see you later. I like him. I like Butler. I think he's funny. Big home race for Alfa Romeo rookie. Okay, so it's a big race for me, Silverstone. Jackson's best. Magic is back. So Hamilton won five out of the last six Grand Prix, really. Um, pretty good, man. I think in this year, I think he crashed. I think, didn't he bang with somebody? See, I'm not a big Formula One guy, but I saw something about him and somebody else. What's a guy's name starts with a V? You guys are going to laugh at me, but anyways, um, 
Yeah, let's see what the emails say. Emails. Uh, just a quick heads up, a couple of magazines have booked in the casual interviews with you post-race. Okay, it's clearly because you're driving on your home circuit. And it's Silverstone 70th. Okay, I'm sure that'll be their angle. I tried to pass this through your PA, but can't find her anywhere. I've seen her. The, oh, I sent her the details and thought I'd send it your way too, just so we're covered. Good luck out there today. This will be one to remember. Make sure you enjoy every second, but stay focused, huh? Brian. Okay, Jeff Nelson. Let's see what the race engineer. Good news on the weather front. Looks like both qualifying and race are going to stay dry. Good. You can take a look at the latest weather report. Join us this weekend. Okay, see you in the garage, Jeff. Okay. Uh, uh oh. That's my personal assistant. Just to let you know she's here being well looked after. Send a message after the race. I'll bring her around to the paddock. Drive safe. Colin Perry. This is Colin Perry from Trackside. This guy's a pain in the ass. Brian Doyle was kind enough to pass on your contact details. Yeah, Brian's a jerk. And I thought I'd reach out. I'd dearly love to interview you for Trackside and have already done both Brian and Casper. Feels only right that we should have a chat too. Do let me know and feel free to fire across any questions you'd like me to ask. Oh, really, can't interview. Love those things. I'll give you some softballs. I'm more than happy to leave the content and approach up to you. What kind of freaking reporter is that? Yikes. Sounds like the reporters in America are asking the Democrats questions. Holy crap. All right, advance. Here we go. British Grand Prix. Mid-race. Ah! Okay, I got to learn this track mid-race. I wish I... Uh, stop me at the beginning. All right, Chapter 4. Capitalizing on a fantastic Q3. Aiden Jackson is enjoying one of his finest career performances. When a front right puncture threatens to ruin his chance of a top five finish. Oh, with friends and family in the stands crowd behind him, Jackson sets his sights on salvaging what he can. Okay, so I guess I'm in a race and I get a puncture in my right tire. Gonna have to pit, I guess. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Tire is a bad freaking Tire's shape. Gone. Tire's gone. Copy, Aiden. Box, box. <clears throat> Copy. How am I gonna Just fucking... minimize the damage? Come on, guys. What the hell is this? This is no way to get me started. All right, I gotta find the pits, man. Get me in the pits. Oh, it's right there, okay. All right, let's get in there. What are we in seventh? And boy, we're losing time. That tire does not look good. I wonder how I can make that um, map better. Can I adjust that map? Brake bias, differential, don't care about that right now. ARS, well, they're changing the tire, down course ring repair. Get that tire change. Oh man, we're fast out, okay. All right. Down force and eight. Uh, we're gonna put it here, and I wish I knew how to do that stupid track thing. I gotta look down. Alright, let's see what we got, guys. Silverstone. I've never raced this. Still time left to push for the points here, Aiden. Copy. That looks like a two. Going straight. What do we got at the end of the straight? Eight. What? I can't go eight there, I don't think. I guess maybe I should try next time. Alright, S's. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like those S's. Alright. 
eight, seven, six. High speed track, man. And what's this one? Three. Chicane? Yep. Kinda. Let's see what we got. Nice work. That brings you up a place. All right. The teammate ahead is six point one seconds. Woo! Man. Three. It's got to be a two. This is that two one. We did this one earlier. Nice track. I gotta get to know it a little bit. Those S's again. I wish I knew these tracks, man. It'd be so much more fun. Casper, I want to bump him so bad. Get him off me. All right, got by Casper, which makes me happy. through the S's. Eight. Oh, Silverstone's a fast track, huh? Pretty good. We're getting the hang of the track a little bit. There's five laps of fuel remaining. I got to shit that hurt to have. Sacrifice. All right, those oh, S's are tricky. <clears throat> There we go. 
Bend down there. We got some bob on there. Too. Sorry guys. Alright. Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. In front of me is eight seconds in front. Take that all the way. This is those S's again. And this one's the one that slows down. I don't, that's too much though. I'm five seconds back. I don't think I'm going to catch them. I don't think they're going to let me. I think this is what you can. So, uh, I don't know where we are in the race. Catching that guy in front of me for sure. This is the asses. And he's gonna slow down big on this one, right? Oh, he won. Too bad. Um, never, knew, I didn't know the track at all. <clears throat> Had a blown tire. Pete Casper, Pete Butler. And what a performance it was from our race winners today. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of it. All right. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. 
Now whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on up for Alfa Romeo's Aiden Jackson. Want to watch? And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebration. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. They really like that uh, that cutscene with the champagne, huh? So, what do we got now? What's the big news, guys? Here we go. British Grand Prix post-race, despite suffering a puncture mid-race, Jackson manages to overcome the odds, securing a brilliant points finish. Okay, so everybody's pretty happy. Advance. The roundup at Silverstone, the twists and turns of British Grand Prix. Yeah, there is a lot of twists and turns. With another display of fantastic control and determination, the new Alfa Romeo driver, Aiden Jackson, is currently proving his worth. Watch out, Caspar. The young driver started strong in a British Grand Prix at Silverstone, only to fall foul of a puncture, just as he was finding his pace. And yet, even though he was forced to the pit, Jackson pushed on with a terrific grit and to gain places and even finishing the points. A fantastic result for Aiden Jackson, and one that was welcomed by his home crowd here at Silverstone. Hamilton may be Britain's number one son, and rightfully so, but people are also beginning to wonder if Jackson might be the favorite new kid on the block. And speaking of Hamilton, are there any of us surprised at that? Hmm, I don't know about that last line, but Fernando Alonso makes a comeback. It's Silverstone, okay. And let's go to social. Excellent technique control from Alfa Romeo's. No wonder he got fast laugh. Extra point deserved. And there's Brian. So let's see what he has to say. <clears throat> well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. There you go. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press is starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. Oh, boy. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. <laughs> see you later, Brian. Brian says, I'm with your mum right now. All right, this Jackson's lad's all right. You know, I've seen far more experienced drivers crumble. Okay. So let's see what the email is. Frederick, that's my team principal. Just wanted to send... Around a huge thank you and well done. I'm humbled and proud to see how everyone pulled together and performed in perfect harmony today. Of course, the day wasn't without some drama. I think I can speak for everyone when I say we all thought we'd lost Aiden once his tire went, especially Jeff. I don't think I've ever seen him turn so red, but we, are, we all pulled it back. I am very proud of this team and all we're achieving. I'll see you all in a debrief. We, I never see the debrief. All right, here's my personal assistant, and I'll bring your mom around to see you. Just ping me a message. All right, well, okay, I already read that one. I think I already read that one. Yep, those I already read. Oh, what'd she say? Okay, so we'll just shut that down, and we'll go to the next one. See what our rewards are. Here we go. XP 500. Tier 4. We're going to make 5? No. Okay. I guess we're still Tier 4. And um, that's it. Please hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next chapter. Whatever chapter we're going to, I can't remember. Thanks and have a great night.